Hello and welcome. Today's episode 3 of my chicken coop build. And today I'm going to be, well, in this video, it's not really going to be today, but in this video I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to attach the roof to the top of the bricks. I'm also going to be showing you how I build the roof. And there might even be a bit of parging the walls, I'm not sure yet. And you, I'll also, also show you which cordless platform I bought. You'll just see me using it somewhere in this video. And at the end of the video, I'll talk a bit about it and why I chose it. Um, check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. And now I need to get to work and start building the cleats to attach the roof to the top of the brick. Now I'm making cleats to hold the roof on. I'll show you how they work in a minute. And now it's time to reveal my new cordless system. So I've got the surround on the bricks. This is what you saw me putting together a few minutes ago. I have the ridge pole on. So, got the roof trusses on, there's four of them, and I put them this way rather than the other way, like the ridge pole, because this way I have more surface up at the ridge to screw into, and also I have more surface to screw these boards into. This is what I'm going to build the roof out of, and then I'm going to put tar paper on this, so these will be all the way up. I was originally going to put a big vent along the top of the roof, 
but I've decided that it's going to be down there between the roof and the, um, the top of the wall instead. I bought Makita as my second cordless platform because I really like Makita. Every Makita tool that I've ever used, I've been really impressed with the quality of it. And I've been using Makita's as long as I've been using Bosch and DeWalt. The first two power tools I ever used were a Bosch impact driver, the 14 4 volt on the old NICAD cells. Um, a DeWalt drill driver, again the 14 4 volt on the old NICAD batteries. A DeWalt VSR drill, um, like the, the old corded type, the old corded type. And a Makita hammer drill. So those were the first power tools I ever used, so I'm excited to finally be using the Makita 5 amp hour 18 volt batteries. And actually, before I bought into DeWalt, um, almost 5 years ago now, I was planning to buy Makita's. The only reason I bought DeWalt is because the DeWalt was the best price. I had 150 bucks from selling eggs, so the the DeWalt drill with the two batteries, the DCD777, was the one that I had the money for. And if I remember, there wasn't really a Makita or a Bosch kit that was for the same price with two batteries. There may have been kits with just one battery, but I wanted the two batteries, so that's why I bought DeWalt. And I really like the DeWalt 18-volt um, stuff and the DeWalt corded stuff. So I'll still be buying DeWalt, but now that I have Makita, I have more options when I want to buy something in corded, cordless. And um, also now I have variety in the shop, so it's not just all yellow, yellow, yellow. Now I also have some nice Makita blue. And I did consider importing um, this impact driver from Japan and getting the colored version, but I really like the Makita. Like I, I really like the Makita blue and also because I bought it here it has a warranty and also the price of this whole kit wasn't that much more than um, had I imported it from Japan maybe one day I'll import one of the the one of the latest and greatest models from Japan but like I said I really like the Makita color and yeah so that's why I have Makita's and stay tuned for Makita reviews. I do have a f quite a few corded reviews coming on corded tools. And I'll have cordless Makita reviews at some point. Once I've used them enough to do reviews on them. Um, so yeah. And there's nothing wrong with brand loyalty. As long as you are loyal to the brand that you like and not the brand that somebody else likes or somebody else told you you should like. So, I, I have no problem bring, being loyal to DeWalt, Makita, and Bosch because I, I like those brands. But, I know other people might not like them, but they're what I like, so it's what I'm going to buy. Roof is finished. Both sides. And I got the back closed in. I'll close in the front once I get the the old chicken coop out of the way. And then I just put this piece of wood on the end just to keep all the boards um, keep them all in the right place so that they don't warp and rip my tar paper. Then I just put put this one in. I just put this one in to screw the back back pieces to and now I'm gonna put the tar paper on the roof.
the roof is finished. So, this is tar paper. It's actually thicker than what was on the old poop, so I'm hoping it's going to last a little longer. And also, I've used proper nails to fasten it down. So, there's only one seam. And then, because I didn't quite have enough, and I didn't feel like buying a second roll for two centimeters, I just put zinc along the ridge pole. That's what you saw me drilling a few minutes ago. And then, for where the zinc overlaps, just brought the drill up and drilled it up here. So it's all nailed down. Yeah, I probably used a few more nails than I needed to, but I wanted to make sure it was secure. So that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, I'll be probably making doors and nest boxes or parging the walls. Um, so the overhang, that will bend down in the sun. And this is this side. And I used a lot of nails on the ridge pole because the, the piece of zinc I had wasn't quite the right angle so I had to bend it down a little bit. But I had a, I had a lot of nails and they, they aren't that expensive. They're only 19 millimeter nails. Um, these nails, that's because the, the, the wood's only 19 millimeters. So anyway, and I used my, my Makita drill that I restored for all this and did it with half a charge of one of these Shen Tech batteries. This is the latest replacement battery I've gotten for this, this set. And so far, I'd say it's the best replacement battery I've gotten so far. And then I was using my S-Wing hammer. And also I found out there is a reason why they sell special knife blades for cutting this stuff. And you shouldn't just use a standard blade like this because it took a lot to get took a lot to get through, about three or four times over, whereas if you had the special um, tar paper cutting blades that has a hook on it, so you just cut it once. Anyway, just something I kind of knew and kind of proved that it is important to have the proper blade for your knife. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.